If you are part of the 68% of people in the world who are lactose intolerant, drinking cow's milk would most likely lead to cramps, bloating and diarrhea, basically a lot of time spent in the restroom. But scientists are finding that milk actually contains the key to gut health? Well, very, very tiny keys. The potential of nanomedicine may change our practice in medicine. These nanoparticles could be the carrier for all these therapeutic compounds. If I drink this, they may help us to treat certain diseases, especially some gut diseases. There are a lot of different components in one drop of milk, fat, proteins, and lactose that could be harmful even to our body. But what we discovered, there are also 1 billion nanoparticles which potentially have therapeutic effects. Nanoparticles can be found in the water we drink and in our food. It's a small particle, 1,000 times smaller than the width of a hair. These are milk nanoparticles from the cow milk. And those are the milk nanoparticles from human milk and milk nanoparticles from goat milk. So they look quite similar, but their function are slightly different. And what we discovered is the nanoparticles isolated from human breast milk and cow milk have the highest beneficial effects. They have anti-inflammatory effects and they have some potential to protect our gut barrier. This is a cross section of a healthy gut and this is after the disease the gut looks like and then you can see there's a lot of inflammation here, a lot of damage to the gut and after the treatment with milk nanoparticles, this is how they look like and now you can see the inflammation is gone and the shape of our gut is recovered. But how in the world do you extract something so tiny? We just buy the milk from the supermarket and with a cup of milk, we add certain components like uh, some calcium, some enzymes to remove the majority of other milk components. So this is the milk. We're going to put it in a centrifuge and to spin down the milk curd and to get the liquid contains milk nanoparticles. So this is after the spin down. So now you can see the, the wet color is the milk curd and the clear part is the milk whey. This milk whey contains the milk nanoparticles. Even though the leftover of milk nanoparticle in the tube is hardly visible, but actually there are billions and billions of uh, milk nanoparticles there. Those are the nanoparticles from the milk. They have a different size, and you see they are flowing around in the liquid. The milk nanoparticles do not only treat the symptom of the gut disease, but also treat the cause of the gut disease. Without taking any detours, these little things can go straight to the damaged gut barrier. So the nanoparticle have its nature, have its to go more specifically to the disease sites. It's a much more targeted delivery. They could survive the very harsh gastric acids, very harsh stomach environment, and they could go through our gut system and reach the disease site in the bowel. For now, the inflammatory bowel disease is usually treated with uh, antibiotics, with anti-inflammatory drugs uh, like steroids. So apart from treating our disease, they also cause damage to our healthy tissues. But nanomedicine can go to the disease site more specifically and then avoid the healthy tissue. In the way, they could reduce the side effects and increase the treatment effects for the specific disease. 
But don't go gulping down liters of milk to repair your gut. Other than nanoparticles, there are things in there that might not be so great for you. It's better to eat healthy, exercise more, and manage your stress levels while waiting for Professor Wong's milk nanomedicine to be ready.